It's as much about his pursuit of greatness and the commitment year-round to excelling and building his skills. He's truly a seminal player in NBA history. And here we go. AI heading to the hoop. Oh! Oh, oh goodness gracious. Wow, oh. bad finish. Oof. Wow. Timberwolves trail by 12. I apologize to y'all if, if I accidentally hit the share button. That's just show a little bit of the beginning of the first quarter, but you know, we'll start from here. Here's Butler, another miss by Minnesota. But you will get the whole game though. I mean, you'll get the whole game, but like you, you, you missed like the first uh, about four minutes, four and a half minutes of the game. No, so I apologize right. if you don't see this. They get complacent, right? They have to stay hungry and humble if they want to keep this in. Man, the team is just so calm and then collected when he gets near the rim. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, court vision, door is one of those intangible skills. You had it when you played, and when it comes to seeing the floor, I'm sure you have people that impress you with the way they see what's going on. Kevin, I feel very lucky and fortunate to have witnessed one of the seminal players of his generation and arguably the greatest passer in the history of the NBA, and that's LeBron James. I mean, this guy's ability to make any pass, to put a 50-foot pass on a rope from one side of the floor, maybe from the hash mark to the opposite corner, and put it in the shooting pocket of different players is mind-boggling. At the center spot, you've got the young and talented and pass okay. Oh, baby, center take of Nikola Jokic. And then, of course, the man who, to me, for a 10-year stretch, was the best pure point guard in the NBA, and that's Chris Paul. And listen, historically, some of the guys I loved watching, Steve Nash, John Stockton, I loved Mo Cheeks. Listen, I'm very partial to men who want to distribute the basketball and who take special relish in watching guys score baskets off their work. But Butler needs a lot of defensive attention when he's in the mid-range. You've got to have a body on LeBron is screen on Jones. Foster passes to James. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Hey, shake him off, LeBron. The shake him off. They have been in complete control of this one. Yeah, you know, it looks like they've wanted it more. Outstanding hustle and determination throughout. Now here's Jang. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Here's Wiggins. And oh, Wiggins. Damn, we're going to Jang I don't, that was it for my thing. I got done with John too. Damn. Lakers lead by 15. Foster dishes the ball from beyond the arc, and again it's the Lakers from deep. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue it's to grow. It's kind of complete domination right now. Ball movement has been flawless. Lead number 18. Here's Jones. No, I think it's. Either that or 20. I don't know. Probably 18 now. And here's Jang. Pocket six. Wiggins with it. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. LeBron outside. Three pointer. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. The Minnesota Timberwolves coming to this run after the win against the Magic. Jones kicks to Tolliver. Pass to Buck. Shoots over ball. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Butler's got six. Well, the confidence that Jimmy Butler displays on a nightly basis is awesome. This guy, as an interior scorer, is a force. And it's Buster it's finishing it off. And that's really the change in our game. It's an overall athletic ability. I love those point guards that can throw it down. Well, you talked about that. That's a dose of the modern NBA break. That, that, that kind of aerial ability isn't limited now to just the front court anymore. That's exactly right. That's the point, guys. When you when your lead playmaker can get to the rim like that and convert... Oh, no, I think I know who L.A. got rid of. Oh, damn. They got rid of my boy, Cabo Pope, for Rizzi. Monster advantage. Oh, well, at least he's taking his number. No, he's uh, achieving his legacy in the Lego jersey. Blows in the post. 
The pass to Jones. Shoots over Foster. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the right side. Hart the pass to Jackson. Knocks it loose. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Foster against Jones. Let's it go from the wing. Rebound by Chang. Outside Butler. Strong deep. And so it's Los Angeles taking a 19-point lead into the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Right about that, man. You learn about Jimmy Butler. Difficult journey to where he is. Basketball. That's that. I always took my mind off everything. Well, you hear that so often, don't you, Greg? Between those lines can be an escape from the outside world. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Towns is checked in for Jack. Tolliver comes in for Kuzminskis. Wiggins is checked in for Butler. And it's Teague in for Jones. Tolliver is inside of the four with Towns at the five. Teague out there with Rose, and Wiggins in at the three slot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Oldham. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Knicks was outstanding. Okay. He finished with oh. 54 points and seemed to be I'm going to get up there a little bit with their Rose. Huge number of assists. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Hey, David, thank you. Any chance he can match that guy's and that performance again here tonight? I tell you what, I know he believes he can. His confidence right now is sky high, and he doesn't think there's anybody that can stop him. Well, there might not be, because he's coming into this game thinking he can be just as dominant as he was the last time he took the floor. Los Angeles leading by nine. LeBron, that's a two-pointer, and that one off the back of the rim and in. LeBron's got six. And LeBron was anticipating that catch and shoot. Nicely done. Outside Rose. Outside team. Towns the screen. Ball against team. Over ball. A nice shot by T. Six points for him. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Jeff T. replacing Ricky Rubio at the point guard position for the Timberwolves. George, did you like that change? You know what I did, Kevin. They're drastically different players. Rubio probably the better defensive player, definitely the more prolific passer, but the shooting was always an issue. Mm, Where with T, you my had a guy away, who knock down three-point shots, and he's one of the best point guards in the league at dribble driving into the paint and getting some action off that. Towns against Kuzma. Towns is double. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Damn it. Defenders are in the area, and that's uh. all it took to force him to change his release. And a wide open look here for Wiggins, and the shot is long. And they're on the break. Here's Foster. Good, and the assist goes <laughs> to LeBron. Looks like a shot with my left hand, I think, oh no. Listen, he's been a key component of their offense tonight. Efficient and effective. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Knocked away. And T, here we go. Yeah, T, it's blown. So you see? Get from a Jeff T, he's going to throw it down off that dribble drive. Oh, there Rose. Rose against Washington. No. Try to do another fadeaway, but didn't worry. No, I'm taking the time. Mm. Well, one needs to have another surgery on your ankles, D Rose. Wiggins outside, outside town. The floater, the kick out to T. Down the screen, and Jeff T good for three. T's got nine points now in the quarter. Now this is a go-to shot for Jeff T. Let's remember, this guy will not hesitate if you leave him open in three-point territory. Christmas, that's a screen. And that's how you answer back. 
<laughs> you can tell. That was a little give. Good. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. That's the name for Spurs on Forces. Yeah. And as we begin the second half, that wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there was a comeback on our hands. Like I said, if I accidentally hit the share button, I apologize. If really you couldn't see the very beginning of this game the start of it. But you know, you will see a little bit of the first quarter. It's probably be the first video maybe in a while, or maybe the first one ever, or the video starts off like that. But King James with that dunk, baby, and that front clutch. Buster is out there with Harris. And it's James. Along with that N1 in this Don't you get the sense that LeBron James is in complete command, not only of himself, but of his teammates? The drive this guy possesses is truly incredible. Leave him open from mid range like that, and there's not much doubt he'll knock it down. Come on, guys, you gotta think. Foster dishes to James. Here's Kuzma. Can't hit that one. And Minnesota will come the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And, and, you know, they knew what they wanted to do going in, and boy, were they efficient and effective. Absolutely. They were coming all game long. Every shot seemed to come so naturally to them tonight. A three ball. Oh, shit. McGee trying to break free. And the Lakers with another miss. I know he wants to answer the three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot possible. Really like the energy I'm seeing from this offense. Three for four to open the third. And it's Buster finishing it off. And folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of play. Uh -huh. He sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. And the way he went about it, no better way to increase the lead and energizes your teammates. Here's Wiggins, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That's on LeBron James. And Andrew Wiggins is the number one overall pick back in 14. Great bloodlines, the son of pro athletes. The game just seems to come easy to him. You know, Greg, the game comes so easy to Wiggins, but some say he needs to be more assertive, oh, more Bob aggressive. Bryant. Do you see that? I mean, high expectations for a player that was taken first overall. The lift and athleticism should enable him to take that screen and give me plenty of space for them to cover me up so I can get that layup in. High enough to take advantage. T kicks the button. Here's Towns. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got three assists in the game. Well, so effective with that jump shot. Carl Anthony Towns is a problem on the offensive end. Foster passes to McGee. Back to AI. A three-pointer. Oh, man, how am I missing? The defense lost the game. He should have made a play. A three-pointer. Wiggins gets the three-pointer to fall. Just a four-point mm. Laker lead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. So timeout call here. The first for Los Angeles. If the analysis, the defensive impact becoming more advanced to us, do you think that helps defenders gain recognition even when they're not uh, putting up numbers in individual statistical categories? Well, think about a recent winner of the Defensive Player of the Year, and that's Draymond Green. Into sharp focus, in the no, I'm trying to fucking job in. I will be. Randy Ingram got it. Oh, thirty for twenty one. All right, we up by. Let's see. I'm by four. LeBron can hit this. We up by five. We are. Now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Timberwolves trail by five. Outside Rose. Towns a screen on Foster. Rose no good. Gets it to very close range, but there was no way the defense going to back off and give him that layup. 
Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. Outside T. Shoots over ball. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Los Angeles leading by five. Here's Foster. Hangs on the trifecta. Foster's got 35 in the game. Do it. Well, guys, his scoring has been maybe the biggest factor in building this lead. And he's got plenty of energy left. So the wing on the left, Jacks over three, and it's all in by Los Angeles. Foster's got four rebounds now tonight. I'll tell you, he hasn't been able to find the mark all night. It's a big reason they're staring at this deficit. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. James sets the screen for AI. And now a 10-point Los Angeles lead, continuing to push the action and build this lead. You can tell they've got their foot on the gas pedal right now. No slowing down. The defense starting to look hopeless. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the brace. Shit, and they've get got a final down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll return shortly. I'm glad they didn't add Buddha about what's the name because that song be on the radio almost fucking every day like late like at least a hundred times a day. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, right. making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Gibson plays the four with Towns in the middle. Teague runs the point with Butler at his side. They're at the backcourt. And it's Wiggins in at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Who's over the screen on Teague? Let's go. Just as he gets it off, that's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. Well, there's no doubt this guy's on a hot streak right now. That's why he keeps getting the ball in this one. They're like, hey, we're going to feed the hot hand. And it's Javel McGee with the foul. That's his first foul. Wiggins kicks the tee. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Pass to Butler. Towns sets the pick for Butler. Shot clock at five. Basket is good, and they'll get a chance for one more. Mm -hmm. A tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. How about Carl Anthony Towns, guys? At the age of 11, guess how tall he was? Six foot three. So it was his goal to develop a complete skill set all the way back then. Boy, how about that? Ahead of the game in terms of the NBA. Foster against T. Free throw line jump shot. Rebound, Minnesota. Outside, Butler. Outside, T. I had no still in the wall. The screen. Down in the Lakers lead has been put down to just six points and a rubber from Jeff Tee. Yeah, you talk about the mindset nowadays. Kids like Towns growing up not content to just play in the paint. That's exactly right, Kevin. His father would divide their workouts into two halves. First, it was face-up, dribbling, for no shooting. The second half of that workout, the interior, footwork, mic and drill, finishing over either shoulder. That's a pretty smart guy. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. That one ah, misses. Ah, missed the free throw. Timberwolves have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. 
Higgins outside. Towns is screen on Ingram. Yes. And there is the three-second violation. A moment now to check out who's leading in the all-star voting. Look at Foster. He's at the head of the pack in the West. A great all-star weekend it'll be. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. Los Angeles leading by seven. Stolen by Butler. Damn it. Stolen by oh. AI. Ingram a screen on T. Foster dishes to Ingram. And so he oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had that. I don't want to sit right there. And Ingram, the former Blue Devil, an extraordinary player who only promises to get better. He hits the second from the lot. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. against Washington. The shot by Butler, nobody around. Can't make good off the screen. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Foster against T. Foster, that's good. No, it's scary because he's just going to match up a nightmare in this game. He's eating up anybody they throw at. Gibson with a screen on Foster. Here's Butler. Uses the glass. Oh, man. It's yeah. very difficult to break up the concentration for Jimmy Butler. This guy on the interior, he has a sense for how to score it. Over the screen on T. Better make it. Fades away. And oh. a little hot that time, but it drops. Foster's got 45 points. Timberwolves trail by 10. I'll be the first game in a while where I won't have a double double. Down the screen. Wiggins takes the towels. The kick out to T. Three-pointer, no good. Lakers have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Butler against Foster. Over Butler. And it's Foster missing. The Timberwolves have got... I probably should give you a regular fadeaway than what I used to do. Rebound by the Lakers. Kuzma's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Harris passes to Ingram, and the layup is good. Gotta see Ingram get going down low. Just another dimension of his game that he continues to develop. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Wiggins, making five for ten with him in that bucket. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. AI up top, G covering. Here's Foster, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Foster's got 47 points. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hit. A nice shot by T. Boy, you can't pin their struggles today on him. He's been on fire from the field. Foster against T. AI runs up. And again, it's the Lakers. I'll tell you, this guy will not stop pouring it on. It doesn't matter what approach they've tried to use against him. He has had an answer for everything. T gets to Towns. Yes, it is. Well, there's a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And, folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of play. Uh -huh. He sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I like that cross yeah, the way on the lead. Yeah. Yeah. No better way to increase the lead and energizes your teammates. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will return possession. LeBron's checked in for Los Angeles. Towns kicks the tee. 
Towns sets the pick for T. Six on the shot clock. Puts up a three. They get a pet. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. To the middle. It's deflected. AI up top. G covering. Here's Foster. Kuzma kicks it to Foster. LeBron outside. Now, here's Ayan. Back to LeBron. Goes back up. And the layup is good. Well, find them all you want. If James has already started his motion on his scoring chance, little you can do about it. And the Timberwolves call time. We've seen AI really making a difference here. He is on a major roll today. This time out was desperately needed. We've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. And with this game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that. Probably coming here, facing a hostile crowd, and have a game like he's had. That's what separates the good players from the great players. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked with the team. He is not pleased. He told them they have to make a push right now. Man, I'm not said, missing them fadeaways again. I've got to pull the plug. I do it stuff, Kevin. I do it. The lead now cut to single digits. And that's 18 points for Andrew Wiggins. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triplets repeatedly. The defense starting to look helpless at this point. Timberwolves trail by seven. Oh my god. No, I'm going to the third one. Harris kicks it to Foster. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. Passes it to James. Sweet little floater. And the Lakers lead by nine. Uh, fierce. That is what I would call how he came off that pick and roll situation. LeBron wins once more with his aggressiveness. And it's Towns missing. Here's Foster. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the fourth. LeBron wishes to McGee. Basket is hey, good. They get a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah. This one easy. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, she had a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. They get slick, tired as hell, but been grinding for real. But until then, I'll see you when I see you.